Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to compare ConvertKit with the Drip. The first thing I'm going to compare are the main features and pricing plans. Then I will look on some advantages and disadvantages and that's pretty much it. So that's like the whole comparison what it's about. Now, both of these tools are great. I would recommend using Drip if you want to use it for e-commerce so if you have a shopify store or woocommerce magento go with the drip but if you have a blog if you have some kind of website um like i don't know affiliate website that you're writing convertkit is really amazing now but there is advantage and disadvantage in convertkit just before we start convertkit is top notch with the landing page with the sales funnel with everything but these kind of emails you can write there are no templates about emails, what you can write, like let's say that you have in Shopify store or um, I don't know, sending blue mail, right? You can choose e templates with the pictures and everything. These kind of emails uh, are what the ConvertKit is really uh, passionate about. The text form based, which is easy to read. And for example, this is him, this is email from James Clear. It's a, a writer of, he wrote Atomic Habits, really good uh, book about habits. And I opened every single email he sends because I like no pictures and only text with a value. Now let's go further to pricing. So this is the one thing you need to know about the ConvertKit. Pricing, let's say that you would have 5,000 subscribers. Yes, you have a free account up to 1,000 subscribers. In Drip, you have only 14 day free trial. But when you would come here to the 5,000 subscribers, that's like 89 bucks. And here it's 79 bucks. So as you can see, uh, ConvertKit is winning in this department and it's like enough because you have like automated funnel sequences landing pages and everything and it's good now if you want to use landing page sales funnel i would go definitely with ConvertKit you're not going to make a mistake here like trust me in that then you can simply click broadcast here in ConvertKit click broadcast and you can simply like who do you want it to send click content and voila you just write an email here subscriber first name or you can add a heading you can add the, like really play around it and it's not that hard to use honestly it's just simple you, you learn it one time and you will know like i could easily copy how he wrote this easily in like i don't know 15 minutes i could wrote this what he wrote based on like because you just add uh paragraphs headings number list broad quote and voila you got it now to go further um, you can also create landing pages in convertkit which is effective you can see it right here, name, email address and everything. And then Drip. Drip is all about the e-commerce. So you can actually create, let me move my camera. You can uh, like create sequences like this. So someone is going to place an order. Then person has a placed order in the last 48 hours. Yes or no. If it is, uh, you just add him to Facebook. You just product recommendation. You just retarget him. Or you send him, you forgot something, you wait for hours. And you, again, you add a person to Facebook custom audience and don't miss out on your face. And order is created via Shopify. So again, use Drip for e-commerce. Use ConvertKit if you want to, if you have affiliate website or what kind of website you have, I don't know. This is not going to be a bad decision. So yeah, thank you very much. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.